also talking about today's announcement are the survivors of sex abuse they say was committed by clergy. Channel 2's Sophia Beausoleil continues our coverage now live downtown with a call for more action. Sophia. A local group says this is a small step in the right direction, but they do not believe that the church is being full forthcoming with the list. So right after that list went out, about an hour afterwards, a group called SNAP, which stands for Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, spoke to reporters. They say they do not believe that the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston, is being fully transparent. They say based off of the list in other areas like Pennsylvania, Illinois, and Buffalo, it wasn't until law enforcement got involved that list truly became transparent and the group told us today that they want the attorney general of texas to get involved and to conduct independent investigations earlier a woman who spoke at today's press conference says she's a survivor and she too wants to see more law law enforcement involvement i know that if the law was more involved more people would come forward i reported my case it was reported in 2001 to the church with La Rosa Lopez. It was reported again um, within the last 10 years and nothing was done. The church did nothing. There were other victims of Mema La Rosa Lopez who came forward. If you remember, just like Robert was talking about, La Rosa Lopez was arrested last year in Montgomery County. He did post bond, but at the time, there was a search warrant to go through several churches, including the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston. And on that list today, he was under a separate category that was called criminal charges pending. Reporting live from downtown Houston, Sophia Bosley, KPRC Channel. Two news.